Time to get the next chapter of this game going. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. All right. Gained a couple new subscribers, it looks like, since the last time I uh, streamed. And time to play. We were flung two weeks into the future. Time to see all the new changes that have done to the universe. Apparently, there's been a lot that's happened in just two weeks. So, reptoys can regenerate lost limbs? That's pretty nifty. Don't get any combo ideas with that. I'm watching you guys. Okay, focus on the game, everyone. Mission create. All right, campaign quest. The journey continues. The space plot thickens. I just broke a piggy bank here and found the exact amount of cash to buy a new module. All right, oh, yeah. ain't that lucky. All right, so the last one. That, my friends, was money well spent. Okay. So we have one new class story. Uh, I guess we should do that one. Oh, oh, we got two. We got the negotiator and heavy. All right, well, let's do that. Start mission. Someone in the, in the galaxy needs help. They just don't know it yet. You suddenly get a hollow call from a person dressed like someone in an authority and a technician. Is this about the space pizza I ordered? Salutations, galactic citizens. I am a negotiator. I've called you to... to... Technician of Diplomacy. What are we calling about again? The Antilla Matter, Honored One. Right. Thank you. Ahem. The planet Antilla has been taken over by pirates. Being an aristocrat planet, they have contracted me to deal with the situation diplomatically. All right. What do you need from us? Diplomatically? Yes, they'd like to keep the violence to a minimum. Does that ever work? Eh, sometimes. Anyway, I need transport. I can, of course, pay the going rate. You had us at pay. Excellent, I'll accompany you. Here I am. All right. Technician, you can provide remote assistance from Antilla once we arrive. Very well. The negotiator has joined your team. All right. Well, since we have got that, let's go to campaign quest. Because now we gained a additional individual in our team, and I can't have more than four normally. Let's start that. It doesn't seem like whatever danger to the system there is can be found in this time period. I say the future is saved. As your actions become known, the system is further endangered. You'll bring about the collapse. We'll collapse your face. Can't you help us? What's the collapse? Mm. The end of all realities brought about by you and those like you. We just put our butts on the line, saving the galaxy here. You still not, you still do not grasp my meaning. The future of the system is in your hands. And if you can't work it out, I must terminate you. Or are these glitch mobs? All right. Epidemic. Poison. Confusion. Strike. There we go. Yeah. What's he doing? One of your friends, not me. There we go. 
his shields all the way down. An opportunity to smack him. Ooh, burn. You suck. Alright. Can targets. Everyone. There we go. See if I can further confuse these guys. Set you on fire. There we go. If anyone's watching, subscribe. I very much appreciate it. Alright, come on. Ugh. Burns. Ugh. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh. Uh, let's do. For a got, got there we go. One down. All right. Uh, his shields are low. Guess I'll just ask you. Three. Strike. So bad. Come on. Get you with my axe. Ah. I will not stand for this. Oh, no, no. My shotgun. Pretty much at full. Let's, uh. Oh, actually. There we go. Strike. Oh, gotta use it for free. Nice. 
Water covers 100% of your shield and raises your shield gen. Oh, there we go. That's actually even better. Axe. There we go. My poor diplomat alone. He's just there to do extra damage each round. Cure all again. Yeah, maybe I can recover some of this. There we go. Wasn't a lot. But better than nothing. Strike. Um, pretty little bit of help. Strike. There we go. Come on. Uh, tactical sight. All right. Ah, gotcha. oh, so close. All right. I'll use this again. I like that. There we go. There we go. Much better. Come on, we can do this. I just glitches in the system. Shields for you. All right. Save my power for later. There we go. Now he's doing some damage. Goodness. There we go. Blast. Come on. I'll heal you. There we go. Strike. Goodness. Damage just keeps going up. I'm fine complaining. Come on. Strike. Oh, so close. Ow. Oh, you son of a gun. Last. Close. There we go. <laughs> Victory is ours. And two exodermal nano armor. While the danger to the system's future lives, so will I. Even if it takes until the end of times. I th think he vanished. Or, I mean, the strange creature disappears. I guess six weeks in the future is not enough for this guy. We should go even further this time, to an age with proper hoverboards. Just head to the time chamber when you're ready. Oh yeah, in the far future, I don't think the people you, you know now will be uh, available. Be sure to finish any side missions you've taken before you tra time travel. All right. Uh, hey, hun, could you uh, pass me a cigarette? Time to travel through time. All right. Let's do it. How far in the future should we go? 
Didn't that beta mention the end of times or something like that? Perhaps we should just go as far as possible to the end of time itself. The timestamp on the future data from dogs points to such a mythical time period as well. We could use that data as a homing point in a longer time jump. However, easy green chick companion, I would like to remind you that I was unable to inspect the time rotors. Nonsense. Live a little. You would not say that if I was talking about your spleen. Let's do the time jump again. Let's do the time warp again. See, we're traveling pretty smoothly. Oh, you had to say something. What was that? Did we hit an asteroid? The HMS Pepe suddenly falls out of the time vortex. Hey, the time jump is over. You've arrived in the far future. Oh, did they hit themselves on the way back from the future? So sorry, Easy Green Chick, you were saying. Uh, I forget now. Never mind. It was probably unimportant anyways. There is literally no future beyond this point. No timeline. This is the year 99999. I detect a huge organism in this system. A huge organism? Like, floating in space? Do keep in mind the HMS Pepe is at least particularly, partially organic, so it may not be reason for alarm. Hmm. Let's check it out. It's our first lead here in the future anyways. Yay. All right. Time to level up. All right. Mm. Uh, uh, meh. Meh. Yeah. Feels a critical attack if you're targeting. Uh, no. All right, she's at five. Hey, I can finally. As it comes down to, do I want to buy the heat? The area heal. Area heals handy. Uh, that is. Yes. Be a master of poisons, then, shall we? We will poison everyone. Hey, why is the door shut? The Forbidden Planet. The prohibition was lifted centuries ago, but the name stuck. Yay. You come right up to the strange astronomical object. Could that be what endangers the future of the system? Hey, did we just lose a friend? Hey, can you hear us? Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm back. Just had a connection hiccup here. Tell you guys, one day we'll have something better than dial-up. Funny, that happened right before we had to tackle that mysterious thing. Hmm. Well, now uh, that's sorted out. Let's get back to the game. The thing's so big it looks like a moon. Roll. Uh-oh. Suddenly, the HMS Pepe starts rattling like an old washing machine. There's enormous fluctuations on the time tides. We are being violently repelled. I attempt to restore balance, this may cause side effects. Not worse than getting spaced, I bet. Just do it. What the heck was that? That moon just created an enormous time tide field. The time rotors were destroyed to avoid getting us torn apart from across the time streams. I'm afraid we are stranded in the year 999999 now. That's no moon. Who said that? Sudden one hails you via comms link. Our name is Tyson DiCarlo. We are scientists. Do not get too close to that moon. Talk about bad timing. Please come and see us. We have important topics to discuss. Said a man from Romulan. You can find us on Planet X. 
they have sent you the coordinates to the planet X. Looks like our only option right now. My unfortunate time rotors. Uh, Pick girls leveled. Okay. Maw the strongest. Apply stun to the target if you uh, Opportunity to strike. Heals 55 to 68 target damage to your target. If the target has stun, the attack is critical. Uh, do, 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 do. Minimum damage by 20 raises your critical chance by 20%. Alright. Hmm. Nothing particular I want right now. Alright. So, where is the planet X? Oh, here we go. Hey, there we are. Uh oh. Ah. Oh. Yes, re roll. There we go. Activate missiles. Fire. Fire. Uh, shield boost. Huh. Yeah, let's do that. And turn. Ow, damn it, my shields. Alright. Fire, fire! There we go. Oh, I see. The more shield boost you use... There we go. There we go. Blew him out of the sky. And I gained a reroll to make up the one I used. Alright, so we gotta go to underground. And at X would appear to be a giant asteroid. Even though you've traveled 90,000 years into the future, this spaceport seems very familiar. I suppose this style just went down as a classic. Seems like this planet was uninhabited until not too long ago. Let's go confirm with those scientists. All right. Oh, I can talk to someone. See what actually fuels our ships. I mean, ever stop to think about that? That wasn't useful. There we go. Oh, all right. Some smelly guy runs up to you. Quick, I have a little time left. Is this Pokemon trainer? Can I trust you, people? Um, of course you can. Random stranger is asking if he can trust you. Of course you can. Definitely yes. Great, I have a task for you. I need you to get this jar of very special juice to my cousin as far as fast as you can. He's on that planet, Jaya, J -G -O, the, the one that they called Bob. He looks like me, so you'll find him pretty easy. He hands you the jar of juice. Don't go drinking this and don't sell it either. It's my only jar, I'm trusting you. Sure, random stranger, your cousin will be having fresh juice for breakfast. The smelly juice dude runs off as soon as he hears it. Alright, so what didn't he give us? Jar of special juice. This is that a random dude asked us to deliver his cousin. Very only one jar of special juice in the entire galaxy. Choose wisely. Okay. <coughs> uh, we'll be honest and return it to his cousin. Boldly time travel. As you reach the lab, the scientist welcomes you. Welcome! Spacefarer is glad you could make it. You've been studying that entity since it appeared a year ago. We have termed that object the Millennium Cocoon. As you saw, it can repel or destroy anything that approaches it by manipulating time tides. We even built a robot to study it, but it's currently MIA. So we began working on a ship that could breach the cocoon's defenses and get reading. But that's our ship, the HMS Pepe. It is me. 
A living ship that is able to think, learn, and grow, and time travel. A ship with a force rotation orbital gravity lobber system. Able to rotate even temporal forces around its gravity shell. The frog. And being that it's not ready yet, you can see why we were startled to see you. We're still quite a few dice away from having it at 100%. HMS Pepe was built in the future, so what about the precursors? The precursors are nothing but a bedtime story. Also, built is a strange word for it. You should say it was grow. So, the HMS Pepe and Dice are actually from the future! How did they end up in the past, then? These are difficult revelations to integrate into my worldview. By the way, I heard you talking about how your time rotors went dead. We can fix that with some Chronal, Chronos Coral from Planet Corophilia. You shouldn't neglect your ship. Yeah, you're right. We really need to get our time ta travel capability sorted out before we do anything else. Coral Ophelia, here we come. Thank goodness. All right, planetary travel. Oh talk to them. Hello, we're talking to people in search of interesting tidbits. Well, like most people, I know nothing at all. Oh, no, that was... That was not useful. And... The Pepe. Okay. Time to space travel to Coral Philly. There we are. Uh-oh. Uh, ship hails yes, and what do you, what will you do? I think I know their language. We can negotiate with them. You understand their language. They say thank you because the HMSB Pepe scared away some outlaws that were chasing them. Yay! I did a good deed without blowing up innocent bystanders. Onto the planet. We have a store. Well, Coralify is rather wet, little planet. I sense a distress signal from over yonder. Oh, it could be in danger. Let's check it out. All right. Uh, so everything is a floating island thing. Talk to whoever. I'm selling galactic maps. A space explorer without maps is a dork. We're fine, seriously. To boldly travel in time. As you reach the distress signal spot, you see it originates from a fallen humanoid. He's being assailed by another humanoid. Hey, leave that possibly injured person alone. What? Oh, er, I was just checking to see if he was okay. He needs intensive first aid right now. Uh, go find some while I take care of things here. How can you be here? Uh, this, this can't be Ginormous. Hey, how do you know my name? Dinormous the 57th B. Never saw you before. Huh, B, what's that? The original Dinormous the 57th died, died while trying to steal an in motion diamond comet. So they cloned him to ensure the survival of the Ginormous bloodline. You mean someone spent money to clone Ginormous? And the lab actually did it? That's unacceptable. Ha <laughs> ha! The Ginormous fame precedes us. And that ship of yours looks pretty cool. <coughs> You'll never put your hands on it, blue boy. Lull, if you think you can escape us in the future, you're wrong. Uh-oh, we got future space trolls. Grenade! There we go. Grenade! Not doing too bad. Uh-oh. Minigun. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I can deal with that. Uh, let's see. Poison your target if you have, if your target has poison uh, status. And the heat the heal of spread to Oh wow. Alright. Poison. There we go. Get you some poison. Wide area strike. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh, just wearing down my shields. That's okay. You just keep doing that. I got other things to do. Uh, 31. 
Yeah. Grenade! Excellent. No more trolls. Just the big man now. Let's get him! Kaka! Poison resistant. Oh, you suck. I'll get you yet. Let's hit you with that poison again. Does damage yet. Uh, oh, let's burn ya. Three. Yes. Oh, he's immune to stun. I don't like that. Seems like everything's immune to stun. The most worthless skill in the game is to try and stun someone. Shotgun. Uh, let's see. I don't want to waste any more of my... I don't want to use up my last rat. Shotgun. There we go. Man. Um, yes. Well, at least I got him to burn. Even if I didn't get the fire to work on him. Uh, let's heal you up. There we go. Strike. There we go. Come on. There we go. Axe. Shotgun. There we go. Many done. Oof. That hurt. Alright. I better use my... Uh, oh, I don't have that selected right now. Ooh, that's right. Okay, so... Uh... No. Let's see. Just give him a rat burger for now. Mana. Let's see. Oh, maybe if we can poison him, we actually get a stick to this guy. Might be useful. Strike. Very nice. Shotgun. Ah. Oh. All right. I'm gonna keep trying to poison. Eggs. So that means eventually you gotta fail, right? Come on. I don't know why it takes so long. Get between them. Hopefully there's a store around here. I need to refresh the supplies. Come on. Get up. There we go. Hey, now we're talking. And the next one. I can hit him again with the poison. Your target has poison stats, deals 27 to 32 damage, and the heal will spread to your whole party. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Nice. Now die. Got him. Victory. Excellent. One chicken doll. One chlorophyllia juice. Ah, why does this seem so familiar? Must be genetic memory in your DNA from all the beatings your ancestor took. Ah, keep the armor, dude. It was likely dead spaced out anyways. Get it? Space, dead, spaced out. That was pretty bad, boss. That too? Who made you a pun pundit anyways? This is unacceptable. Let's bail. They flee. Forget them. What about the armor dude? Maybe we should plug him into the HMS Pepe's med bay so he can recover faster. Great idea, easy green chick. Let's take him to the ship. Alright. There, all done. Now, let's do what we came here for. Rumble, stop 
I will monitor our guest on the HMS Pepe's med bay. All right. Let's see how long I've been going. Oh, 30 minutes, so I got some more time. Uh, uh, let's see. Collect five units of Cronus Coral on Coral Flay. All right. So, planetary travel. Uh, I get out of this? What do you give me? Hey. Uh -huh. How do I burn it? My problem is it doesn't tell me anything. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I'm assuming there's gonna be something I have to scan. Oh! Well, I think not even supersonic speeds are fast enough for space travel. I get vertigo. Yeah, if you want to travel, you gotta go really fast. Scanning. There we go. Two Kronos Coral. Back here, because that is a shot. There we go. Astronaut food. Ooh, more spark plugs. Buy those guys. Let's uh, just buy three. There we go. That's one for everyone. Uh, the gadgets. Raises your hit points by 71. Raises your damage by 9. Raises your shield regen by 17. Spell points by 11. Hit me sign increases your threat. Warp drive engine. Increases your that by Matrix of Defense raises your shields by 54. Okay. Raises hit points by 71. All right. Those. All right. I need a lot more water. Yeah. Come on. Double up. Yes. I got the double. Okay. Their scan? No. There we go. Scan. Oh, almost. Almost had it. Come on. Be the last time. Come on. Hey, got it. Barely, but I got it. This should be enough coral. You'll be happy to know our guest is okay. His armor seems to be mending his wounds, so he should be up and about soon. Great, let's head back to Planet X ASAP. Understood, Hit Girl Companion. All right, back to the ship. Board the Pepe. I think I've been to this. Even in the past. All right, where's the med bay? Uh, cryo chambers, meta shop. Seems I can't just go to the med bay in here. All right. Base travel. Planet X. The mysterious Planet X. Into the underground. Go. Oh. Here's the coral you requested. Perfect. We'll integrate some of it into your time chamber right away. This stuff feeds on tachyons. What did you know? Did you know that? Cool. You're also getting a brand new dice. And I got a 12 cider. There, the HMS Pepe already. The HMS Pepe power has increased from, oh, 10 cider. Eight to 10. That should boost your protection from the cocoon's manipulations of the time tide. Please observe how these new rotors rotate time with optimum efficiency. 
Yeah, now we can discover what that Millennium Cocoon thing's all about. Yeah, that thing has got to be the ultimate danger to the system. Huh, guys? Huh? What was that? Where are you all? Another instability spike? We're back. Our internet is getting pretty bad lately, huh, B Big G Man? Maybe this is the work of whatever is in the Millennium Cocoon. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that'd be quite something, huh? Could it be? Anyways, you're all back at the observatory. Let's prepare properly before doing anything else, yes? Mission complete! Yes! Let's keep rolling. Oh, better level up, hit girl. Uh, do I want the opportunistic strike? And stun just never works. Uh, let's see. Okay. Anything that's really. Who does anything for my character? Big positioning. How many power your text deal with? Oh, no. No, I've not seen anything. Seems like there's just certain skills that are just worth taking, and the others that. Eh. All right, campaign quest, start mission. Your next objective waits for you in the bridge. Military travel. Alrighty, we have a ten cider. Let's check the HMS Pepe completely to make sure they're ready to investigate the Millennium C Cocoon. Ugh. Tripping over my own tongue. Tyson DiCarlo contacts you as you are checking the carbo bay. We've already instructed Tadpole on how, on how to take readings of the subject. We've seen what's in your future. Oh, shut up already. Oh, we got four this time. Goodness, these guys just keep... Coming back for more of a butt kicking every time. All right. Gets you some poison. There we go. Nice. Ow. Confusion. Back on your own. Thank you. Good. All right, uh, charge attack. Just focus on you right now. There we go. Do this tactic with some tactics here and just focus on one at a time. There we go. Ow, I messed up my shields. Set me on fire. Alright. Well, fine. Hit you with another thing of poison so I heal up my comrade. There we go. Oh, uh, you resist the third. But he's still poison. That's good. Ah, uh, you resist the confusion. Oof. Burn. Rage it is then. You want to play like that? Or actually, no, that makes the most sense. That one. Most damage. Fine. Shotgun to your face. Your glitchy, glitchy face. Poisoned. 
Ah, oh, my shields. You bastard. Poison you as well. and heal up my comrades. Can we all heal? Go. Ow. No, not hit, girl. All right. Definitely need to do some serious healing. Shiza, I don't... Am I out of pizza? I thought I had pizza. Come on. <sighs> close. So close. Ooh. Well, that's one less enemy to worry about. We'll give it that. All right. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Ooh. There we go. I want to be dying early. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that would have been the end of me. Poison. Take a look at it later. Take a look at it later. I was streaming, so hopefully it doesn't. Problem. There we go. Oh, come on. Yeah? Cool. Oh, I forgot. Item. Let's use the rat on Save your life. Again, I'd burn him, but... Come on. And I would be able to hit multiple people. Skill use is always a Hit me with a poison attack. Yeah. There we go. 
Get in there. Get in there. So close. This stuff fire? No. Alright. Get up. Okay. to actually hurt you. There we go. Fresh. And grenade. Nice. Got him. All right. Now we're talking. Perfecto. Three blur blurry silhouettes. It's a blurry silhouette around the increasing the enemy's chance of landing a blow. Redu raises your hit points by 67%, 67 hit points, and your dodge chance by 6. Either that's the beta, you'll either learn or perish in ignorance. The beta are testing? Test of the beta? Does that ring any bells? Looks like we had a little instability spike there. You ready to set off? Oh, that's right. We're ready. Excellent. All right. Now let's look at the inventory and our gadgets. All right, so that's shield, hit points, and spell point. All right. Shield by 54. Hit points by 67. Damage by 7. Hit points by 49. Not bad. Oh, yeah, let's do that. And let's see. Build regen. And regenerate spell points. So, yeah, it's kind of useful for her character. Liquid armor increases shield by 34 and shield regen by 11. Increases damage. Increases your threat and shield regen. Increases damage by 7, hit points by 50. Okay, increases hit points by 71. Increases shields by 54. No, oh, this one's not a bad one. Okay. 
Exodermal nano armor. I'm already wearing anti-impact helmet. Okay, so way weaker than that one. Uh. Increase your shield regen. Point regen. Fifty-four. Oh, might be more appropriate for him. Hmm. Oh, it's a little less hit point, but a lot more dog. Yeah, I can. And let's see. Be shield regen by. Oh, no, Wesley. Careful. careful. And. Increase hit points by 12, spell points by 2. Alright. Maximum defense. Oh. Still looking at this one. Really? Base chicken head. Okay. Looks like we've done everything else. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Here. The nth passenger. That's straight. The strange satellite, the Millennium Cocoon. This is the closest we've ever got. I have a cigarette, dear. Let's try to collect some data. Thank you, dear. We've been so caught up on our research, we even forgot what day it was today. It's January 1st. Welcome to the 101st millennium, everyone. Thought that the new millennium didn't start until the 100, year 100,001. Pedant. Warning, the time ties have become radically unstable. You have to pull back. The mysterious entity is attacking us. Uh-oh. Looks like a flying meatball. With teeth. Ooh. Nine. What's this? Fire! Hey, that didn't seem to do a whole lot. What the hell? There's no way to beat that. There's no way to beat that. You have to pull back. I just said, I just said that. The cocoon is consuming itself? Like a reset? Yes, the life form inside the cocoon is resetting time itself. You must go to the pack to the past and prepare for the galaxy for the inevitable doom. So future tech like dice are the remains of the future thrown into the past. That must be time itself being torn apart. You must return to your own time. Remind, remember, your own time going back further could make everything worse. Lori painted a warning message on the HMS Pepe's time chamber door. Now we'll send the HMS Pepe to the past so you can receive it and eventually come here. Where did you get the HMS Pepe? On Tanton. Where on Tanton? Do you know the coordinates? This could slightly alter events around the time you got the HMS Pepe. Uh. What were the coordinates of the. Oh god, I don't remember. Uh. Vector X Alpha 8001? God, I don't remember. Isn't that the post the crazy camel, the story behind the name that has survived until this day? Uh, what about you guys? As long as you received HMS Pepe in the past, we'll live. This may be the far, far future for you, but the Millennium Bug inside the cocoon must be beaten. All reality will it may well fall to him if we you can't freely move through time. <sighs> Call to him if he can freely move through time and reset it. 
Space speed, my friend. Tyson and Carlo shuts themselves inside the ship bay. At least tell us the story of the city's name first. Never mind that. We'll have to save the future for them. Back to the future's past. Oh man, we had to go to back to the 2999 and warn the galaxy. Time's a wasted more than ever. The HMS Pepe is having a really bad time going through the time tides this time. Something of undetermined nature is inside the HMS Pepe. Remember me, puny mortals? Nature now determined. Evil Pasa dude, right? We've met. That is right. Lord of pa Pesto and Sugo. Of mold and worms and green olives. It is I, for the I just said that. How did you get here? I regenerated from a single meatball using the ship's energy. So that is why my time rotors were having such a bad time. Hey, we're too busy to be going past to the pasta to save the galaxy. You overdo brown bag lunch. Can you wait till this trip is over? That's silly. I'd have to stuff myself in the fridge. I'll devour you and conquer the galaxy from the past. Yes, that's brilliant. Cosmic Pasta attacks you. Oh, he... Poison's gonna kill me. Uh, virus. to change out my fight. Uh... Apparently not. Alright. Actually, how are you doing? There we go. Rat burger. <laughs> Poison you. Apparently I heal for some reason. Stun. Again, the stun proves to be the most useless skill in this game. Alright. Okay. And give you another rapper. Stop amongst 
everyone here. There we go. Oh. Four shields. Again. Ow. Fat burger. Break. I probably should have tried to set her on fire, but hey, finally. Moments reprieve. There we go. Burger on you. Got gun. There we go. Poison. Ooh. Suck. Alright. Uh, Free skill. So close. Victory! Yes, I've, I've slipped before, Ella. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Mission complete. The Nth Passenger. What the? Oh, we defeated it. My regenerative capabilities are beyond your puny comprehension now, dear. Guess who came to visit us? Wait, what? Your Aunt Gertrude is here, and she brought your cousin to visit, too. We're in a very dramatic moment here, Mom. Gertrude. She's my mom's sister, lives in a little town and out in the sticks. Be nice and let your little cousin play, too. Hey, Big G Man, what are you guys doing? We're uh, role-playing online with my friends. Cool, can I play as well? I've never really role-played. Hmm, okay, I know. I'll give you a strong character so you can't mess up too bad. Wasn't my original plan with this dude, but good GM always knows how to improvise. Hey, cousin, welcome to the game. Okay, you're in the middle of a very complicated battle, remember? Pasta la vista, baby. Hey, why don't you space this beast by opening the airlocks? Why didn't we ever think of that? Oh, no, Don. Roll. Your time. You timed the trick perfectly. The airlock opens, slurping the monster through them and setting him loose amidst the time tides. And I have gotten away for it, with it, too, if it weren't for these meddling kids in their last-minute party edition. Warning. Warning, there has been a significant reduction in struggle and inter in structural integrity in and chronoblastic precision. Emergency restoration protocols initiated. Emergency evacuation teleportation systems coming online for your safety. I will attempt to deposit you in a marginally survivable environment. Wait, where will you go? Undetermined, please attempt to locate me again at your first convenience. Have a nice teleport. Ah... Episode 4, Forward into the Past. All right. And I, I, I will call it here once this is done loading. There we go. Oh. Looks like we're even further into the past. Wake up in a town. The villagers giving you strange looks. Hey, horsey. Town is sort of quaint. How far back in time did we go? What planet is this? Following Cthulhu's ultimate return, you were separated from the HMS Pepe. You must get back to your ship. Actually, my time meter says this is 2936. Prehistoric, really. It's not that far from our original time period. We just went a bit too far. Who are you anyway? I'm Big G-Man's cousin. Oh, you mean in-game. I'm a universal sheriff. We have protected the galaxy since the 86th millennium. But our main concern right now is being stuck in a primitive world with no Pepe. Uh, let's see, we mustn't interfere much. I have a feeling we'll have a hard time with that if easy green chick, but yeah, we should find the Pepe and get out of this time period. I think our best bet is going to the local higher authority, a king or a queen. Still, we should definitely keep our interference to a minimum. 
good idea, Sheriff. To the royal castle. Um, how come your cousin is so eloquent, Big G-Man? I have no internet access at home. I have to read books to pass the time. All right. Put the game here. It's been about an hour streaming. Yep. All right. So thanks for those that watched. Hope you enjoyed the show.